Hey, thanks for joining. Today we are testing all of the masks on Amazon. And when I say all, I mean basically all of them. We've tested way too many. I can't even see straight. Uh, this video is going to be covering the Missum medical masks. Wow. This has got to be the first one that says medical masks. Every single one says non-medical, right? Uh, we, we have had some ASTM masks here, which technically are medical masks, but they don't say medical masks because that's not really a thing in the United States. So very interesting to see this. So a lot of stuff going on. BFE 95%, not very many are making claims on the box. Four layer, ooh, that doesn't matter. If you see four layer, you know they're just marketing to you. And uh, medical mask, very excited to see how this plays out. So let's get it tested. All right. Oh. There we go. All right, let's get it going and start. All right. So let's check this out here. Packaging is okay. It's sealed. That's nice. I like to see sealed packaging, but it's also uh, you're using kind of a thinner material. Um, these are Chinese masks. You have the quality certificate here. Permission to leave the factory. Broke? No good? These are really thick. So the airflow resistance is coming in at 105 pascals, which is, you know, higher than we're seeing normally. That's actually pretty good. Yours broke? Two of them broke? Yeah, two. Oh, yeah. I'd say some of these might break, but it's not going to be the end of the world. This is a very, very thick mask. I'm surprised the airflow is actually so low. So it's a pretty good structural mask. It's, it's a little thicker than I like to see. Again, uh, we like our mask to be... Uh, you know, 25 GSM, which is a thickness um, uh, on the outside. That's that's how we make our masks. You can see kind of through the top layer. We like that. Um, this one is too thick, so it's probably like 50 or 60 GSM, which is just going to decrease breathability. And this is having medical claims, so we'll see. And this is pretty standard, uh, the smell. That's a nice nose wire, though. Very strong nose wire. Good fit. Ear loop is very comfortable. Looks great, at least on you. The smell is like we're getting that a little bit of that like glove box, uh, iPhone. It's a little strong. I'd say it's medium strength on the smell. It's not ideal, but um, it wouldn't be a deal breaker for me if like someone said, hey, I need you to use this mask. Uh, what do you think? What do you think we came in at here, Rossio? Uh, I'm going to give a benefit of the doubt, 95. 95? So the American standard minimum ASTM level one is 95%. That's what this machine is made to test for. Um, the best standard in the U.S. is 98%. Uh, that's ASTM level three. So for my money, if I'm looking for a mask on Amazon, I'm looking for an ASTM level three mask. Rossio is giving them the benefit of the doubt, and it comes in at 97.28%. One of the best masks we've tested so far today. 97.288% to be precise. Um, that's great. You know, aside from the little bit of a strong smell, which I didn't love. Uh, Miss him, you made a pretty good mask. All right, uh, if you like this video or not, <laughs> please like and subscribe, I would appreciate it so much. Uh, and join us on this journey as we get through the rest of these masks. Or I might die, or you might die, or one of us will kill each other, I'm not sure. See you next time.